What's up Savvy Expats? It's no secret that the Philippines and Southeast Asia in general is the place that you go to to stretch your dollar and get bang for your buck. And I experienced this firsthand. What many consider a luxury in the US is actually completely affordable here in the Philippines. That being said, today we'll be discussing seven services that are cheap here in the Philippines and compare those figures to the US. So without wasting time, let's hop into it. All right, the first service that is expensive in the US but affordable here in the Philippines is the spas and massages. On average, the cost to get a one hour long massage here in the Philippines is $10 on the low end and $30 on the high end. And if you don't wanna go out, you can even order home service massages for you and your spouse with minimal hassle. A few home service massage places that you can call here in Manila is the Palmeo Spa Home Service, the Blue Touch Massage 24-7 Home Service, and the Four Seasons Home Service. Now, if you're okay with going out for an affordable massage, you can get massages in Manila at Crown Garden Spa in Quezon City, Banahao Heel Spa in Mandaluyong for less than $20, and the Mandera Spa in Green Hills for less than $30. And so, while you can get a massage in the Philippines for less than $10 per hour, in the US, on the other hand, the national average for massages is $100 per hour. On that note, while getting a massage in the US is a luxury that you only get once in a while, here in the Philippines, it's affordable enough to get on a weekly basis and it won't break the bank. Now, we know that getting massages here in the Philippines is very affordable. As a matter of fact, many of you hold off on getting massages in the US until you take your weekly vacay to the Philippines and go ham. But what about getting facial services to exfoliate your skin and remove facial impurities? At budget spas, it'll cost you 10 to $24 for basic deep cleaning facials. At mid-range spas, it'll cost you $24 to $36 for anti-aging and brightening facials. And at high-end spas, it'll cost you $40 to $80 for luxury facials with premium products. Meanwhile, in the US, however, the cost for a comprehensive facial treatment will cost you anywhere from $75 to $100. In terms of the body treatment spas in the Philippines, it'll cost you around $10 for body scrubs, wraps, and baths. Mid-range spas cost you around $24 for detoxifying herbal treatments. And high-end spas will cost you around $30 to $100 for exfoliating, seaweed wraps, and all that jazz. Meanwhile, in the US, this will cost you $80 to $110 for body treatment spa services. Now, moving on to the second set of services that are very affordable in the Philippines, we have maids and drivers. Having a maid in the Philippines is one of the most affordable payrolls and it's an absolute lifesaver. To hire a maid or house help, that'll cost you anywhere from $100 per month on the low end up to $500 per month on the high end. Now, of course, you also have the option to have a stay-in maid or a maid that only comes by to clean. If you're hiring a stay-in maid, needs to say you're gonna have to pay more for that role. But either way, having a maid in the US is a luxury that 90% of Americans can either not afford or just find it very impractical. But here in the Philippines, even if you can manage your own household chores, hiring a maid is so affordable that it barely scratches the budget and it takes so much weight off of your shoulders. Meanwhile, a maid in the US will cost you around one to $2,000 per month. Having an on-call driver here in the Philippines is one of the most convenient roles that you can hire to make your life easier. Whether you want to take a weekend trip out to the province or your wife is out running errands and you want someone to come with her that can speak the native language, it's very easy and convenient. Not to mention, if you're coming here as a foreigner who doesn't know the routes and ropes of this country, this will save you a lot from getting lost. You can get from point A to B without having to navigate for yourself. And also, God forbid you get into an accident, you won't get overcharged because you're a foreigner. And also, God forbid that you get into an accident, you don't have to worry about getting overcharged just because you're a foreigner. So all in all, to get the whole shebang, that means a maid and a driver, it really won't cost you any more than $1,000 per month. And for that $1,000 per month, you save yourself a world of time, hassle, and minuscule tasks to attend to. Now, for the third affordable service in the Philippines that's unreasonably pricey in the States, that is food delivery services. So there are two main delivery apps you can use in the Philippines, either Grab or Food Panda. 
For us, we typically use Grab, but there are also some really good deals on Food Panda every now and then. As for the food delivery fees with Grab, they charge a flat delivery rate of $1 in addition to 30 cents for every kilometer traveled. Because we live in BGC where everything is in close proximity, our food delivery fee usually doesn't cost any more than $2. For us, our highest delivery fee we've ever gotten here in BGC was only $2.5. So when it comes to delivery fees here in the Philippines, it really depends on how far your meal is traveling. For most of you, for an average delivery, you're paying $1 up to $3 at most. But either way, needs to say, these delivery fees are extremely inexpensive. Now, moving on to the topic of getting food for delivery in the US, let's just say you gotta have some intense midnight cravings to actually pay these kind of rates. The main food delivery apps in the US is Uber Eats, Grubhub, Postmates, and DoorDash. But let's use the most popular as one of our examples, Uber Eats. The delivery fee with Uber Eats comprises of four factors. The cost of food, a service fee, a delivery fee, and any other applicable taxes. Not to mention, you also have to add a tip. And so the minimum service fee with Uber Eats is typically around $3 for a small delivery, and it can even reach up to $5. And then as for the delivery fee, it can range from 50 cents up to $8. So it really depends on your proximity to the restaurant. Also, if the demand is high, the fees will increase as well. So when it comes to delivering with Uber Eats, it can cost you from five up to even $10. Now, moving on to the fourth service that has gotten very expensive in the US but is affordable here in the Philippines, that is haircuts. It's proven that the Philippines is one of the cheapest countries in the entire world to get a haircut. With an average cost of $6 or 300 pesos, the Philippines is actually the third cheapest country in the world to get a haircut. And so the average price to get a haircut in the Philippines is $6, but even in some areas of Manila, it can be as cheap as $1 for a haircut. And really, there's a wide range of trims that you can get here. While some salons charge as low as $1, which you can go to a place like Malate for, there's other salons on the high end that will charge you up to $80. Meanwhile, the price for a haircut in the US can be as low as $10 and range even up to $100. The nationwide average price for a haircut, however, is around $28 on average. But once again, the Philippines is much more affordable with the average haircut costing you $1 to $6 for a standard haircut. Now, moving on to the fifth luxury service in the Philippines, that is hiring a home cook. The average salary for a home cook in the Philippines is around $600 per month. And if you ask me, that's well worth it. That means they take care of your grocery shopping, meal prep, and meal schedule. So if you have minimal time on your hands, or you just want someone to cook you up a delicious meal without you having to put any effort in this, this can be a good hire. Not to mention, these home cooks can cook you almost anything you want by request. So to save yourself the time and also have the luxury of having a trained chef to cook almost anything and everything you want, this is not something that's easily affordable in the US. Now for the sixth service that is relatively cheap in the Philippines, that is dry cleaning. Dry cleaning costs in the Philippines is often priced very differently here than it is in the US. Here, they typically charge per kilo of clothes, which I find very great because it's not based off of per article of clothes like how it is in the US. For example, it's not out of the ordinary for it to cost 60 pesos per kilo of clothing to be dry cleaned. For us Americans, that's roughly a dollar for two pounds of clothes to be washed, dried, and pressed. Meanwhile, in the US, only one shirt alone to be dry clean will range from two to three dollars. A blouse can cost three to six dollars. A jacket to be dry clean will cost you from three to ten dollars. And a dress to be dry clean can cost from three to twelve dollars. Now, for the seventh and last item on our list that isn't necessarily a service, but rather an act of appreciation for a service, that is tipping. Yep, that's right. Tipping in the Philippines is much cheaper than tipping in the US. Why? Well, number one, tipping here is not only not required, but also not expected by most waitresses. Whereas in the US, if you leave a small tip or you don't tip at all, tables will be flipped. We all know that in the US, it's customary to tip 15 to 20% of the bill. That's the right etiquette there. 
In some cases, anything less than 20% is considered a bad tip in the US. So it's not to any of our surprise that at least culturally speaking, you're obligated to tip in America. On the other hand, here in the Philippines, tipping is not required, let alone even expected. But for those of you who do decide to tip, the customary tipping range will depend on where you are. If you're in a small province or a small city, most people will tip from 20 to 50 pesos. That's around 40 cents to a dollar just for a tip. Meanwhile, if you're in an upper class city like Makati or Bonifacio Global City, the average tipping range is from 100 to 200 pesos. That's around two to four dollars for a tip. And you may be thinking two to four dollars for a tip is extremely low, especially for the US. But here in the Philippines, on the other hand, giving a $4 tip would absolutely make someone's day. And so there you have it, Savvy Expats. Those are the seven services that are expensive in the US, but relatively affordable here in the Philippines. As always, if you want access to our full guide that I and countless other expats see as the best city in the Philippines, Bonifacio Global City, the link to the guide is down below in the description. This entails a comprehensive breakdown of the cost of living here rental units to help you settle down, and every must-see attraction that this metropolis has to offer. So if you're interested, feel free to check out the description down below. And so thank you for watching Savvy Expats, and I'll see you in the next video. God bless.